if you've been on social media at all, you've probably seen Lil Yachty tweaking out on Caribou and his, his best friend, I believe. It's that Mitch guy that he does his podcast with. Why did he tweak out all of a sudden? I'm not really sure. But I can give some context that maybe leads to that. So if you don't really keep up with Yachty, for like the past year, the consensus thoughts on social media about Yachty is that he's corny and he like tries too too much, he tries too hard to be cool or whatever, which is crazy. But the hate did not come out of nowhere. It came when he dropped that alternative album last year. I believe it's called Let's Start Here. It's, it's actually a fire album. Uh, Drive Me Crazy is a peak song. But he made comments about rap a little while after he dropped that album, I believe. And it like scratch people the wrong way. So, of course, they butt her and then they feelings. So, he essentially said that hip-hop is in a bad place at the time. He said that people are lazy. People don't really try. They're not really creative. And that everything sounds the same. And then he also said that he's never glorified drugs or violence in his song. And, of course, to combat that, people bring up Poland. The song that really revived his career. A lot of people think that. The song Poland, he quite literally says, I took the walk to Poland. And we all know what walk is. Lean, whatever, bruh. Anyways, back to the topic. So I'm pretty sure this all starts on the episode of his podcast with, of course, his friend Mitch. Key Glock is on the episode. And y'all need to start disrespecting his mans out of nowhere. I'm going to drop the clip. You spent a lot of time trying to find your steps. Right. Right. But so this is my point. No, 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 no. Imagine if you didn't have a friend who's already extremely successful to help you get on your feet. Because you didn't want to get a job. I never even suggested you get a job because I knew you wouldn't get a job. So I'm pretty sure uh, Mitch tells like a dude to get a job or some shit, right? And Yachty is just not having it. I made you, nigga. You wouldn't be here today without me. Or how you going to tell somebody to do something you didn't do? Which is fair, I guess. And Mitch wasn't even really tripping about that. It's the people on Twitter taking it far i guess so like i said mitch didn't really care but you know he had to respond so it don't look like he got completely bitch he said i ain't nobody little bro i never been check my history i had stats before i met bro and got even more now all i ever wanted to do was just focus on the music and being involved in the culture in a positive way i hope none of this hinders that if you don't hear from me it's not true bro never stole from me and we don't have no shady history or anything along that nature so that's cap and everybody that knows me no i put in work nobody can take that from me and he wasn't trying to take that from me we just debating on camera it got taken out of context but it do not matter people are not going for that they calling out Yachty, calling him an L man. He a bitch for disrespecting him in front of Key Glock like that. Which is funny because Key Glock literally put out a blunt and lit up in that nigga room. And you can tell Yachty was mad, but he didn't do nothing. I, I guess he a hoe or something. He, he ain't tell that nigga put it out. Ooh. Okay. Just, oh, first person to spark up in the room. Somebody ever. That's a first. We've never done that in a safe place. I won't smoke in here. I sleep in here. First. Yeah, we're going. Safe place blunt. Uh, that's the first blunt to ever be in his, in his room. In his, in his house. Um, actually, yeah, in his house. It's first. Like sage. Yeah. Well, it's, it's terrible smell. But, um, That is a tough one. Let's light a candle and get my brother. Right there, y'all. We got to get you a plaque for that. We got to get you like a plaque. First really? person to ever light a blunt in my home. But hey, that ain't got nothing to do with this. We back on the topic. The backlash forces this nigga to hop on IG Live and he just talking crazy. He cancels the podcast, but then. He hops on Caribou. If y'all don't know Caribou, Caribou is his artist. She signed, well, she was signed to the Country Boys, or she was in the Country Boys, but she ended up getting kicked out apparently. And she's been tweeting subliminally since she got dropped from the group. So Yadi replies, and he's talking about he made her career, and of course he wrote the rap that really got her popping the on the radar freestyle, and then he leaks the reference track to the freestyle. Guess nigga, he leaked. A reference track to the freestyle that is so tough and then he exposes that she is 900k in debt and that she's also verbally abusive to her bodyguards security everybody around her hey that that is just so tough wrote that fucking verse when we went on on the radar i put you last on purpose so everyone would say who the fuck is that girl i slowed the beat down i put 808 specifically on your verse so when it got to your part in the beat drop everyone would be like oh the, the girl is the craziest one I wrote that verse the night before we even went to on the radar on my phone. Bro, I typed, I, I got the voice, I got the fucking reference. What the fuck are we talking about? You ain't never, you ain't never wrote no, no, a song in your life. That's why ain't no music came out since you've been left. Cause you ain't got no music. Cause you can't rap. Who 
are we talking about? And I wasn't gonna say nothing. I'm my mother's life. I was gonna let you go live your life and go get a new writer and go get a stylist and go do you. I wasn't gonna speak on you, but you gonna go on the internet and say that I bully you. Oh yeah, and he also revealed that he dresses all of the concrete boys. So bro is a stylist for himself and what five of the niggas. So that's tough or W, whatever. But let me know what y'all think. That's all for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, tell your friends about my channel, and peace.